Hello and welcome to me checking out the demo for Read Only Memories Neuro Diver. This is part of the Steam Next Fest, which is right after E3 2021, and I am so excited to dive right on into this game. There's no setting, so it might be a little loud. I'll turn it on if it's too bad. Oh, whoa, okay. Screen? Screen NeuroDriver Manual. This is NeuroDriver's user manual. Manual is putting it lightly though, since a lot of it is works in theory. If I need to memorize well, basically all of it, prepare for my NeuroDriver certification exam tomorrow. I'm interested on Will. Go. For use of NeuroDriver and a handful of controlled tests with other espers. I won't have authorization for any real world use until I get this exam out of the way. So, I gotta power through this. Lure Screen. I love to watch some TV right now, but I need to focus on memorizing this manual. Door. I can't leave until I memorize this manual. Okay. That's an air diver. Most people expect a computer, but it's a 100% organic life form. Floor. It's cute. And it's very cute. Lorp. And easily flattered. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, I hate reading. I guess highly classified documentation for cutting edge experimental biotech isn't usually turned into an audiobook. The Neurodiver. Nope. Yep, that's you. The Neurodiver is an artificially created life form imbued with psychic abilities similar to those of human espers. An esper. Nope. Ah, <laughs> yes, that's me. An esper can create a psychic link between any intelligent life form, the host the neurodiver to enhance their ability to read the memories of the host. Oh, Lord. Just resting my eyes. I'll keep reading in a second. Okay, it's still very loud for you guys. There you go. Oh, you know what? There might be options here. No, there's not. Okay. Okay, gotta stay focused. The neurodiver also calls for the defragmentation of the host's memories. Should any corruption or fragmentation exist via the following means? Neurological disease, such as Alzheimer's disease, C appendix 14, for examples. Physical trauma, such as concussion, C appendix uh, 15, for examples. A psychological trauma, blah blah blah. The neurodiver also shows promise in reversing the psychic traumas inflicted by Esper psychonics. However, due to the wide variety and mutability of Esper psychonic powers, there is only anecdotal evidence at this time. Yawn. What's this? Hey, ESA. Gate! It's the weekend, so you don't have to use my code name, you know? <laughs> thanks, Luna. Still signing for that neurodiver certification exam, huh? Yeah. I found on field tests the other day, but trying to cram all these facts into my head for the written exam is making my head hurt. You'll get it. You just need to focus on why you're doing this in the first place. Why I'm doing this? I sort of have to do it, Gate. It's my job. Yeah, 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 but there's a reason you're here at Minerva. The reason you want to become a better Esper by using the Neurodiver. I want to become a better Esper. Uh, to help people. To help people. With the Neurodiver, we can help people recover memories they lost. Memories of important events or loved ones. It's kind of idealistic. If I help the Neurodiver, I can help someone better remember someone or something dear to them. Lord. Some kind of psychic therapist, then. I guess you can call it that, sure. Well, no matter what you call it, you're doing it to help others. Seems like the right reason to me. Thanks, Gate. Anytime, ESA88. Huh? Why are you switched to my code name? Well, actually, we have a guest. I have someone here for you to meet. ES88. Whoa, he's. Uh, he's huge. He's huge. Huge ego, maybe. This is Crow. Wow, your eyes are really golden. Uh, hi! Sorry, I've never seen an Usper up close before. I heard you all had golden eyes, but... I guess they're a good dad giveaway. Kinda like how I know you're hybrid just by looking at you. Heh, <laughs> touche. Crow, this is ES88, our resident psychic therapist and neurodiver expert. Wait, what? Should we dive into your memory to help you recover what you've forgotten? That's right! <laughs> yep, that's me! Explain all things neurodivering! ES88 is the best neurodiver at Minerva, which is to say, the world. But she is just saying how she hopes to use the neurodiver to help people remember what they've lost. 
can't, this is more of a problem with something I found. I can't remember why I had it. Oh, hear that, ESAD? A psychic mystery. Can I just, gate? can we talk for one sec? Privately? Sure. One sec, girl. Take your time. Who is this guy? Okay, who is this guy? It's an old buddy of mine from the war. I mean, the war during which you were a soulless machine program to kill? Hey, just because I was a literal killing machine doesn't mean I didn't make friends. Well, whatever. If I mess this up, I could really do some damage to your friend's psyche. Relax, crow's tough as nails. Some of the stuff he pulled off in the war, it would be a legendary if it wasn't all completely top secret. Look at him, he's built to withstand anything. And this is coming from me, an android literally built to withstand anything. Physical power is one thing, we're talking about his mind here. Potential psychic trauma. Relax, he already knows the rest, and he's fine with it. Right, bro? It's true, Kate already gave me the rundown. I'm up for it, really. Um, it's risky for us too. Okay, but there are risks for us too. I'm not technically supposed to use this on anyone until I pass the exam. If someone finds out, we're both in big trouble. No one's gonna find out. We're the only ones here. And besides, I'll be here watching over you both during the dive in case something goes wrong. If anything starts to look weird, I can pull you both out with the press of a button. Blurp. Look at that, the inner driver is roaring to go too. Okay. Okay, I can do this. That's right. So, we can get started? Yes, first things first, tell me what memory specifically you're hoping to recover. Sure, it's actually about something that happened about 10 years ago, just after the war ended. Since our tenure as soldiers was over, some friends of mine and I were doing odd jobs to get some good cash here and there. Our last job was selling some information to a buyer in Busan. The details were really fuzzy, but I do remember that, for some reason, I decided to give my share of the payout to my friends. But then they claimed that I had stolen all of it for myself. I'll admit that what isn't out of character for me, but I wouldn't do that to those guys. And on top of that, I didn't have any trace of any kind of money like that anywhere, not in any of my accounts. So you think they took all of it for themselves and tried to cut you out? That's what I assumed, yeah. I ended up being a real sore spot between us all, and we actually haven't spoken since. For- for ten years? What made you question it now? Well, it's cleaning out my closet and found the jacket I was wearing that night. Do you remember the clothes you are wearing, but not any details of what happened? Weird, right? I think it's weirder. I found this in one of the pockets. Uh... Garbage? Uh, to be honest, it just looks like garbage to me. It looks like it, right? But look at this. The information I was on? This is it, on this chip here. I remember clearly trading this thing to the buyer for money. And then giving all the money, all of it, to my friends. But if you have it here with you, that obviously didn't happen how you remember it, huh? What do you think, Psychic Therapist ES88? You think you can help Crow work through his broken friendships? That does sound like a corrupted memory. If you're ready, Crow, we can start the dive. Sure, what do I have to do? First, lift up your sleeve so the Neurodiver can have some skin contact with your arm. Then, stay still and try to relax. Huh, okay. Alright, now let's get this Neurodiver out of his capsule. Now you'll probably feel something cold. How things weird looking. Don't forget your catchphrase, ES88. My what? You know, that cool catchphrase you say whenever you start a dive. Uh, uh... Sound cool. Here dive a go-go, baby! What? What does that even mean? I don't know, I just panicked. Sorry! Anyway, starting dive! I guess these are Crow's friends. Sparrow. Uh, hey guys. Wait, Crow? Crow? I don't recognize you? This is the first day they saw me after I became hybrid. Finally cashed in some earnings from the war. Got it. You certainly made a big change. Oof. What's the matter, Hawk? Angry that the Ront is finally your size? I think he looks like a... Like a what? Looks like some kind of freak if you gotta know. Well, that's mean. Look better than you, a-hole. Hey, 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 no backseat driving. Er, diving. 
I'll do the talking for you based on what was going through your mind at the time. Uh, have you waiting, I see. Have you waiting, huh? Sorry about that. Oh, don't apologize, Crow. We just got started. Listen to this guy. Who drinks in is just getting started? Hey, they may call us the old birds, but we still handle ourselves. Where are we drinking? Okay, where are we drinking? I'm glad you asked. Hey, let the kids here, we can order a special, right? Alright, take a look at this crow. Okay, it says New Year's special, celebrate unification with the Mansi Ju cocktail. Alrighty. What's Manse? I think it's pronounced more like Manse. What I said, Manse. Sure. Anyway, it means, you know, uh, Banzai. Salute life. Uh, we did just get out of a war, you know. Folks are feeling celebratory. Uh, did you call me to read that poster? Uh, ha, I wouldn't put it past these guys. Hey, you're real lucky we invited you all out at all. That's enough, Hawk. Go ahead and order a round of those man you crow. Then we can get to business. Got New Year's special flyer. Press I key your inventory on the bottom left of the screen to view your inventory. Plant. For me, it's such a dark place. That place like it looks like it's growing quite well. Window. I'm pretty sure it's nighttime, but you can barely tell if the light's on the outside. Dartboard. Last time I played darts, I put more holes in the surrounding wall than the dartboard. Hawk. Let's talk more drinking. Getting us drinks, I mean. Owl. Go ahead and order a round of them. Okay, posters. Photos of celebrities pushing various brands of alcohol. I could go for a drink. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary so far. I guess I should go order those drinks. Right click and drag to explore. A and D keys, arrow keys, or arrow buttons on the sides of the screen. Okay. Playful patron. What are they kicking around? Oh! It's the same shuttlecock thing that crew had. Hey, you went in on this? Uh, sorry? Come on, I'll play you for a round of drinks. Hmm, wonder if this crew got that shuttlecock thing. Worth a shot. Okay, what do I do? It's Juggy Choggy. When I kick the Juggy to you, kick it back without letting it drop. The Juggy? This thing. You've never played Juggy Shoggy before, huh? Oh, so that's what's called. Seems like I just scored for a drink then. Okay, let's play. Alright. Show off and win. Because obviously that's what he would do, right? Oh, you got me. So all that, what's the juggy stuff? You're bluffing, huh? Beginner's luck? Well, either way, it seems like I owe you a drink. What are you having? Uh, let's go see what's there. We can both do it on a bar and see what they have. Crow! These are drinks, Crow. We're dying over here. Fuck, we're not supposed to be making a scene. Okay, but where are our drinks? Crow! So you already here some friends, huh? Uh, yeah, sorry. I guess I am actually sorry. It's no problem, really. I was actually on my way out before I saw you. Why don't you take this juggy as a souvenir? Uh, is this your number? Is this your phone number? <laughs> Why don't you try it later and find out? I'll beat you next time. You got that? Wow, Crow's all way smoother with random bar encounters than I could ever hope to be. Got juggy. There's a hallway there. Okay. Uh, tiger poster. Guess 2050 it was the year of the tiger. So cute and chubby. Kind of weird looking freaks though. Where's the nose? This smug little tiger is pushing a New Year's drink special. Hmm. It's unclear if the tiger will join you for the drink special though. What? I'm gonna assume this is a fragmented memory, not a literal giant baby working at the bar. Oh no, looks like I'm on my own here. I guess this is a memory fragment. Let's see. According to my studies, the neurodiver allows me to repair these fragments by using something closely related to it. Hmm. Oh! Player, uh, let him over to this spot. Maybe I could try that? Just gotta grab the item and stick it to this big weird baby. Kinda like a patch. Alright, let's give it a try. There we go. Repair. I did it! 
the hell? Why is this guy showing up a giant as a giant baby? Your brain is trying its best to make a complete memory here. So in the absence of data, it's gonna try and fill that void with something. There's a lot of rhyme or there's not a lot of re rhyme or reason to what goes where, but usually it'd be something that was emotionally striking. Emotionally striking? Your memories depend on emotional connections to stay in your head. The stronger the connection, the stronger the memory fragment. I guess you have a soft spot for cute little babies. Ugh. Well, it's fixed now, so let's never talk about this again, okay? More patron. Monse! Monse! Computer. What are they doing using such an old computer? Alright, oh, this was 10 years ago. Sound system. That's a pretty impressive sound system. Right? I mean, it looks impressive anyway. Robot. I see a tiny robot. Wow, of course, memory must be pretty good to remember little details like this. A pretty impressive music collection, right? I mean, it looks impressive anyway. Liquor bottles. Let's see what kind of liquor they have here. Who am I kidding? I don't know anything about liquor. It all looks really fancy though. Same. Speaking of me, they have all kinds of specialty cocktails here. Soju and yogurt? Is that actually good? <laughs> I like all the things we can click on. Drawer. I bet all the cheap liquor is hidden in there. I don't. What are these Monsu cocktails? Hmm. Please? You have to order it correctly with spirit. Spirit? Really? Monse! Monse! Say I got to remember I'm doing my headache to get my drinks? We're celebrating, kid. Get in the spirit of things. Monse! Okay, fine. Monse! Keep going. Excuse me. You have four drinks, right? Monse! 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 Ha 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 ha! I told you he'd get him to do it. They put you up all up to that, didn't they? Nice work, Che Huan. <laughs> anyway, here's the drinks. They're already on the older guys' tab. Got four monthly Jew cocktails. That's great. We'll give it to Sparrow. Here you go, Sparrow. Thanks, Crow. You certainly were enthusiastic out there. Drink all. All this one's for you. Thanks, Crow. And thanks for the uh, entertainment. You're hot. Thanks, kid. Glad to see you can still take a joke. John Bay. John Bay. What's that one mean again? Cheers, Hawk. Oh yeah, Gone Bay. How's your Korean so bad after all this time? Well, excuse me if I was too busy keeping your asses alive to crack open a book. You're probably the one who acclimated the best out of any of us, huh, Crow? I'll miss it here. I don't miss the war for sure, but I'll be used to the place. Same here, it's been a nice change of scenery despite everything. Psh, you two have always been so sentimental. Hey, this is where we all met after all. Even if it was... Monse! Monse! Ha, someone else ordered the special, sounds like. Monse! Whoa! I think I just felt something shift in the memory. Oh, it's... Hawk, shut it. You know the guy who just ordered or something? That's the guy we're making the deal with. Excuse me if I didn't recognize. Hawk, what did I just say? So, what's the plan? He's buying information. Uh, which one of us was holding that chip? Oh yeah, here. It's a, what's this thing again, Hawk? You're asking me? It's a Juggie, right? Oh, uh, how did you know, Crow? I, uh, some of the darts area gave me one. Interesting. Well, this one's a little different. Bear had the idea to hide the information chip in here to keep the hand off from looking too conspicuous. Making it conspicuous by opening it. Right, sorry. So that's it, just give this juggy to the guy who walked in? Yep, and he gives us a big pile of money. Simple deal as they come. Looks like he's taking a seat up by the darts. Yep, you got this, crow. I got this? I'm probably the only one in the right uh, state of mind to pull this off right now. State of mind? I mean, we've all had a few rounds before you came here, crow. And besides, with your new uh, modifications, you're easily the most intimidating of the four of us now. Hey, 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 what's that supposed to mean? I'm just as intimidating as Crow. Way more! Even if you were, you're not even half as sober. Here, Crow. Got Shaggy. We'll head out once you sit down at the buyer and meet you later at the usual rendezvous. Oh? 
another fragment? It certainly would be impressive if you saw a tree in here that fast, huh? Tr-tr-ditter. Hmm. Really can't seem to sync well at all with the host when I observe these. On my own again, I guess. I wonder what I could use to repair this. Maybe I don't have everything I need to unlock this memory yet. Repair. There we go. Yes, that was it. At least I think it did. Grow? This kid. I'm heading out to grab some lunch, and this little shrimp was struggling to get his kite down from a tree. And then, out of the goodness of your heart, you helped him out and used your cat like reflexes to swat out of the tree. Admired the determination and bluffed it out. His cover in sweat stopped coming out of his nose. Awful. He even thanked me, just ran off. Guess I scared him away. Well, that's all cleared up now. Looks like we got someone waiting at the table. Alrighty. He's behind the tiger posters. Um. Mind if I sit here? Hey, I. Let me guess, you'd like to sit here, yeah? How. I uh, you know what you're gonna ask? Well, Crow, I know plenty of things. Lovely, I have your interest and you have the information I want. Come, have a seat. Uh, do I know you? How do you know my name? Oh, no, 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 but I know plenty of things about you, Crow. Okay. You know what an Esper is, Crow? No idea. Never heard of it. You should never deprive yourself of education, Crow. You never know when you might need a little of that that little bit of information. I'm just here to make a sale. That's it. School's out for the summer. Mesper is an individual who possesses psychic abilities. Each one unique, each one varying in power level. Espers as we know them are the result of mutations. Randomly occurring with some espers not even understanding the extent of their power. There have been, been many advances in the study of espers done in secret. There is now information about how to produce them, and that, Crow, is the information you're going to give me tonight. Uh, give to you? Give. Nothing, pal. This is a sale. I'm happy to walk if you disagree. I said what I meant, girl. You're gonna give me that information. No, why would I do that? I'm the Esper myself, girl. Granted, not a true one. I was hybridized in an attempt to gain some Esper powers. Bully for you. No interrupting my monologue. <laughs> the information you concealed in that jaggy. Cute trick, by the way, will allow me to realize my full potential. That said, even in my current state, I do have enough power to make you believe that we had an exchange as planned. But in fact, you simply gave me the information for free. I'm out. Okay, this is a big weird hassle. I'm out. Oh, it's already done, Crow. Oh, I've been writing you a new set of memories about this night for our entire conversation. It's made me think how much of our reality is shaped by our memories of it. Mm -hmm. Don't know why I'm even telling you all this. It's not as if you'll remember it. Good night, Crow. What? Yes, lady. Whoa. What's happening? You really did start to rewrite your memory. But he's, uh, pretty bad at it. No wonder your memory was so messed up. Ah, oh, the link with the nerd diver is destabilizing. You too, okay? We're fine. Crow? I feel like I have a brain freeze, but yeah, seems like I and my mind are still in one piece. Did you on the dive gate? From out here, the neurodiver was looking a little sick, so I gently pulled them off and put them in the capsule to rest. Lorp. So, did you get to the bottom of Crow's information exchange? It wasn't so much an exchange as a psychic mugging. That idiot. After all that posturing, he must have taken the wrong jug eye in my other pocket. Do you think he got to the old birds too? Explains their half of the story about not matching mine. Definitely. His powers seem pretty crude, but they obviously were effective if it worked on you for so long. Well, at least this information is worth something, right? The stuff we were going to sell for all that money? Well, uh, yeah, Esper, that seems like some pretty serious tech, right? Yeah, but it's been ten years, remember? So said Minerva's basically perfected the science behind Esper's. In fact, some of the information you have is likely a predecessor to the Neurodiver. It's the first completely synthetic Esper, you know? Lord. That information was in the back of your closet for 10 years. Sounds like you did Minerva a favor and kept it from leaking to our competitors for all that time. Ha, ah, figures. Well, it wasn't the information I was after in the first place. Let's see if I can get in contact with the old birds. 
They probably won't believe what I tell them, so I hope you don't mind if I send them your way to get their memory straight. Uh, happy to help. I'd be happy to help. Feels like I'm really getting the hang of this thing now. See you two around. Well now, Luna, back to the study grind. No, you were right, Gate. Doing a real dive made me feel a lot better about this task. Well, this does actually boost on, but you want to go down the street for some drinks? Uh, let's go. Let's do it. I could really use some sugary... Some sugary after expending all that mental energy. Should we bring the neurodiver? I guess we have to. We aren't really supposed to leave it alone. We'll be fine. We'll just say it's an exotic fish or something. Let's pick a bar on the darker, louder side then. Blurp. That's cute! I really like that! That was really fun! Oh, and it just closed itself. Well, thank you guys so, so much for watching. That was really fun. Tell me what you guys think. I really like that. That was really, really good. Anyway, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to me here on YouTube, and go follow me over on Twitch. I stream there four days a week. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.